When I travel to Liberia, I see abject poverty. I see people that live on less than a dollar and 25 cents a day. And I see people suffering from malnutrition and diseases that their weakened immune systems can't handle. My name is Dr. Frank Glover. I'm a board certified urologist. I've been practicing at the Urology Institute for the past 25 years. During this Ebola outbreak, I went to testify before Congress on just the dire straits that the people were in because thousands of people were dying. There were literally hundreds of bodies lying in the streets. When I was there just six weeks ago, they were down to zero cases. And if things continue, they'll be declared Ebola-free by the World Health Organization. So Liberia, despite having lost 10,000 people to this disease, they're on the mend. God was calling me to love him with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And so I looked to see what would be the best seminary to prepare me for the biblical exegesis that I needed, for the preaching that I needed. And DTS was the school that came to mind. And it's been a wonderful experience to meet other people whom God has gifted in so many different ways who come together under one Lord for the expressive purpose of delving into the scriptures and learning more and experiencing more of who our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is and who the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is and how the Holy Spirit empowers us to really live in such a way that God is honored. An eight-year-old schoolgirl in Liberia asked me the most profound question anyone ever asked me. She said, why is it that God doesn't love black people? I said, well, of course God loves black people. But she looked at me and she said, then why is it that we don't have anything? I knew at that time that I would have to work to show God's love in tangible ways. My wife and I have made multiple trips trying to show God's love because we have the example of our Lord who met not just the spiritual need, but also the felt physical needs. And so I feel bringing those two together is consistent with what it means to go and make disciples and to love your neighbor as you love yourself.